following is a presentation of HBO Sports. You are not an angry person. Let the tension in your body dissolve, including arms and hands, shoulders and belly. Then make a full pendulum type putting stroke as you would for a long leg putt. We filmed the final episode of Everybody Loves Raymond, Saturday, January 29th. The final episode ever. So, um, I'm unemployed right now. I feel very weird coming, you know, my show ending and this kind of emptiness, but I have this feeling that there's, there's golf. There's always golf. Comedy is kind of like my core. It's like, it's what I do. It's who I think I am. I think I'm a stand-up comic. I want to be a pro golfer. Oh, what the hell? It's a love-hate relationship with golf. It's something where I can come away feeling so serene. Yeah, that's the best shot I've ever hit. And yet it's also the thing that can get me to throw a club. I can say curses that don't even exist. Oh, you stupid mother fear! I'm obsessed with something that won't let me master it. I don't know. I, I need therapy. <laughs> Okay, let's roll, please. I don't want to make things awkward for you. What was it? I want to create an awkward moment between you and somebody you're going to run to once a year in the laundry room. All right. Wow. Oh, did you? Oh, geez, I don't want to make things awkward when you borrow a cup of sugar. It was a very busy year, uh, which is great. I mean, uh, we've had a lot go on with our my television show. It's our seventh season now. It's been absolutely insane. See me reading my lines? Man, a lot of good things have been happening to me. Uh, of course, the best being Stefan and I getting married back in June. And along with that, I've had a lot going on with, uh, thank God, with movies. Will Smith gave me this great opportunity to be in his new movie, Hitch, and uh, it was just a great experience. The only downside to any of this is that I don't get to play golf. Right, <laughs> golf is a game when the more and more I play, the more. You know, it, it, it just continues the more and more I want to play. It's really something that I'm missing. I draw a huge crowd. You want to get a shot of that? <laughs> That's the fame I possess right there. Let me go out and address him with the one you I'm going to mic you up because we're getting real close. To, to push this movie, there's an amazing amount of work that has to be done. All these junkets, all, you know, doing Letterman, Conan, Regis. Everybody's talking at you from every angle. And, you know, I've had that for a while now, but with this, it's just magnified to no end. Kevin, a lot going on. And I heard you got this golf tournament coming up with your friend, Ray Romano. Right. We golf together all the time. We go to this, uh, we go to the uh, Pro-Am, the, Pre uh, the Pebble Beach Pro-Am every year. And play. we're going that to that soon, actually. And we play together and we compete in that every year and it's just like we kind of stay grounded with that and I just try to kick his butt and 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 he knows it and I've done it in the past I'll do it again Pebble Beach is the most unique experience of your life you walk on that course and you, you just, you feel the history. Do you think I can get home from here? Well, I don't know where you live. <laughs> just carry the bag. <laughs> this, it's a real PGA tournament with the best golfers in the world. And, and we get to play along with them. It's in the hole. There's just so much tradition at Pebble and now we get to be a part of that. You're there for three days, four if you make the cut. And you just, you want it to last forever. Because it's like Christmas morning every day. You wake up and there's this cool gift for you under the tree. It's 
for the last three years, Kevin and I have been invited to play the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. We're very competitive to begin with, Kevin and I. Uh, we're good friends, but, you know, we're the kind of good friends that hate each other when we're on the golf course. And, of course, the goal is to make the cut at Pebble. There's 180 teams, and we play for three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The top 25 teams make the cut, and they play on Sunday, the final day. Last year, Kevin made the cut, and I didn't. For me, it was a really big accomplishment. And bonus, I beat Ray. That's something he can never say he did. All the money that dickhead makes, that son of a bitch can't stick that in my face. Seriously, though, it felt so good to make the cut last year. I, I, I want to feel that again. I need to feel that again. I want to make it now. I want to make the cut now. My show's over. Kevin's in this big movie that comes out while we're at Pebble. I, what else do I got? <laughs> Look, the time I have now, I'm just going to practice as much as I can. Ah, I got my pro instructor here in Los Angeles. How's that? Yeah. Huh? No. What do you mean, no? I got Dr. Parent, the Zen golf doctor, who's going to come and uh, chant with me a little bit. Instead of thinking swing harder, Yes. You want to say, let, let, it, let it be a little bigger. Say that. Let it be a little bigger. Thank you. I, my wife has said that That's once right. in a while. <laughs> Just for a second, let's talk a little bit mechanical. You seem rushed on that one, and back to your really super fast swing there. I want you to get out of the mechanical thoughts. I want you to say, this is what it's going to feel like when I get up over the ball. Put your left hand right here on your knee for a second. Remember that? There. This is what you thought was here but it was here. So when you're here, it feels like here. See the picture, huh? And now swing. No. Watch your head up. Oh, you all right? <laughs> I hate to say that was the picture I had. Kevin's a very good athlete. He has good power. He's got a good solid build. That's it. Right? And he's a workhorse. He's he's pretty pretty rough. What we're gonna work on is punching our way into the clinch. I'm gonna follow through to the to the solid barrier. Once okay. I get you in, in clinch range, it can put you against the wall. Ray always asks me why I train with these guys, and he'll be like, oh, "How's that gonna help my golf game?" What he doesn't get is how this makes me mentally stronger. I mean, after training with guys like Randy Couture and Boss Root and I don't know, it's just like a little three-foot putt just isn't going to seem that intimidating. Sounds crazy, but I just, I think this is really going to help my golf game. Let's go. Move down. Off the wall, off the wall. Good. Tap him down, tap him down. For a headlock. I do of the yeah uh, of the sternum of the uh, clavicle from the sternum here. When it fell to the mat and I heard a crack, but I felt just something was wrong. I knew it, and I feel a little you know, like in here. I feel you know some pain. It's just that I just want to get to the point where I'm able to swing a club. I'm just kind of crunched for time here. What we should do is put you in some kind of anti-inflammatory medication to get right. this thing to calm down. You really should be working with a good therapist. Okay. Love to swing some clothes before you know, hit some balls before I tee up on Thursday morning. Was Ray golfing today? Oh man, I pulled something. Overdid it. A big knock on my neck. Did you sleep? No, I didn't sleep. You notice that your shoulder's stiffening up. 
I'm going to yeah. decompress that now. Yeah. We have some tissue changes going on in there. This is a C6 muscle. Bend a little bit. We're both kind of old. And one of us is overweight. Can you shoot my tits from a less flattering angle? That's all I'm asking. This guy's on a low carb. Everybody should do six, because I'm going to need about 24 balls to hang on that. What are you going to write on it? When I mark up my golf balls, I either put my kid's name or my kid's initial on it. But uh, this time I decided to change my luck. I was going to let my kids write their own things on all the golf balls. You should do it on both sides. Oh, Allie, that's what I was afraid of. Girly, one. Girly stuff, but that's OK. <laughs> Little Homer Simpson heads? Yeah. All right. I like that guy. All right, if I can't win with these balls, there's no hope. This one says, make the cut. Make the cut. You think I'm going to make it? Yeah. How come? Because. Because. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> the boxing glove is Kevin's. All right. The balls are those balls are Kevin's. Where are your balls? I got them in my uh, right. suitcase. Uh, my best friend Claude caddies for me. He's been my friend my whole life. Yeah. And um, my other best friend, Bernie, he comes in. And uh, my brother Rich, they all fly in from New York and then we head up to Pebble Beach together. <laughs> Usually I call ahead to find out who my pro teammate is. Hi, this is Ray Romano. I was just wondering if you had did the tournament pairings already. Four o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Uh, can I, I'd like to put in my request for VJ Singh. <laughs> we made it. Today I got to do Letterman, and tomorrow I'm doing a whole bunch of shows. Then I'm catching the red eye out to Pebble Beach where I get in three hours before my tea time. The weird thing is, I don't know, I don't really get nervous for the TV spots anymore. I still get nervous for Pebble. I want to say golf is a pretty great passion. For a while, our, our, our schedules were revolving around golf, but, um, you know, now it's taken a little break. I don't know. We'll see. It's been hectic. The King of Queens now hitting the big screen opposite Will Smith in the new movie Hitch. Here he is, Kevin James. <laughs> Let's see. That's a good arm wave. Ain't no clavicle yeah. problem there. Is it his right side or the left? Left side. Oh, it hurt there. Right there. Did it hurt? Let's Come see. On. He keeps that left arm down. Let's yeah. see. Boy, are you hot? Everything going your way this year. You get married. You get Very your first hot. big feature movie. Yeah, it's been it's been wow. a busy busy season. Yes. And the first feature film, your big debut with Will Smith. Yeah, hey, not bad, man. huh? You couldn't ask for a better guy to be with, right? I mean, the oh biggest star gosh. in the world and, uh, and the greatest guy in the world as well. Yeah. So he, he What's up, man? What's up? Well, so you don't give me the weekend today, okay? Will Smith is his new buddy. You're out, right? Pebble Beach to play in that annual Pebble Beach Pro Am. Yes. I idea you that good at golf. I'm not that good. Actually, Ray is done with his show, so he's done nothing but practice. Oh, Stupid ass. Oh, no. Shush, shush. Playing every day. And, and he's going to try and make the cut this so year. So basically, what you're saying here on our show, on live television, is that Ray Romano is a cheater and has an unmarried <laughs> Isn't that true, Kevin? I think Isn't you're that right. what you're saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you get old no Ray Romano oh, yeah. up for it. Oh, you know I'm going to yeah. do that. You know that. Now, listen, I want to I wanna talk about the movie. I want to talk about specifically about one That's it? episode that I keep seeing in the trailer. Talk more about me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You know, Ray's, he's neurotic. He's very neurotic. It can be the smallest thing. You know, you're at a restaurant and then a fly lands, uh, you know, close to his 
fork. Did, did the fly go in the fork? What happened there? Did they touch it? Did, was it on the plate? Did it go near? You know, I don't know, Ray. I don't know when the fly got there. But but it, what if it was there? If it was there, I should get a new plate. What did? What do I do? Should I? You know, and it literally spins out, and it'll be in his head for you know. And it's like Ray, just fucking wipe it off, take a napkin, get rid of it, get a new plate, and move on. I gotta block him out at Pebble. I love the guy, but how can I play well when my only swing thought is, God, I hate him. I had no sleep. So. Can't be unhappy alone. Is this one right? Put it up since four fifteen. Yeah, well, I got two hours on the plane, so stop you complaining. You didn't have him die next to you, though. What's up, Kevin? What's up? There's a smell in here, my friend. There's a smell. Oh, let me show you my prom. Don't worry. You have a picture of him? Don't show me that, please. <laughs> what the fuck is with your toe? <laughs> oh, I dropped a log on me. We were doing a fire the other day. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, my God. You look like Alice Cooper. What is that? <laughs> I tattooed it. I really want to get to the bottom of what the that's hell. That's a black toe. That's a, that's a sign of power. Oh, that, come on, huh? Just tell me how that starts. That's absolutely insane. I dropped a log on it. When? In the 1800s? Look yeah. at that. Hold that thing. <laughs> All right, come on. I still have to find a caddy. Oh, man. I don't have a caddy. You're looking for a caddy for Kevin James? Hang on a second. Let me get you. Whoa. How about who's, Grady? Who's Grady? Grady's lucky. He's a good caddy. You want to work for Kevin James? Yeah, wait one day, and you may have it after that. All right. Is that right? Oh, um, yeah. Better okay. Good well, caddy, I promise you. Know. He's caddy 20 right. years on tour. Okay. All right, we're at Spyglass. Okay. At um, 840. All right. Now, do you work your way up there? Yeah, or? I get up there. All right, Boomer, your first time playing in the event. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> On the team, Daniel L. Jackson. What a start. Yeah. Hey, VJ. Did I do everything together? Yeah. Pretty well. Huh? Not everything. <laughs> the way this tournament works is that every amateur is teamed up with a pro, and that's your team. It's a two-man team and you take the best score on each hole. The pro gets a four, and I, with my handicap, get a three, we take my three. And Kevin and I are both 18 handicapped, so we each get a stroke a hole. All right, gentlemen. Good to see you. Doing fine. This is my third year in a row to play with Kevin and Ray, and I've had a great time each year, and they've got a chance to make the cut also. Right. How are you doing? Good, how you feeling? Good. Feeling good, yourself? Good, good, good. The crowds obviously love him, and you know, and Kevin as well. And uh, you know, it's it's great to be subjected to that kind of atmosphere. I mean, I was embarrassed to tell him I never actually saw one of his shows, but uh, I think we're in good shape. Hey, Grady, Kevin, nice to meet you. We want to work together for a long time, and now, God willing, we're making it happen. All right, Grady. From Long Island, New York, Kevin James. Okay? It's all right? Grady says it's all right, right? Oh, it's gonna be all good. Oh, he got it. I'll admit it. Yes, indeed. From Queens, New York, Ray Romano.
Shut up. <laughs> Look at this guy, look at this guy. Good job, Dave Reedy. Good read. Oh, shit. What am I doing there? Oh, I suck. It does suck. The truth is, we're very competitive, you know, when I play yeah. against him. But when we're here, we're kind of pulling for each other because yeah. to make the cut is the goal. You know? Thanks. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm off to a pretty good start. After three rounds, the cut's usually like minus 20, so you got to average minus seven each day. Any massage therapists out here? I'm dead serious. Got a big knot in my neck. Oh. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Does that last for 20 bucks? No, but couldn't find a 10. Yeah, I'm fuzzy. All right, let's play some golf, huh? Ready? No matter how many times you play here, no matter how many times you do it, you just get your adrenaline gets going, you get pumped up. It took me four holes just to relax and calm down. That's right, that's right, that's right. Oh boy. What do you like going through here? Punch it out? Yeah, just punch it out, baby. All right, then. <laughs> Easy, Grady. Ah, here we go. Game's on, James. <laughs> uh, I came out of the gate strong, but I don't know. Now I feel like I'm spinning out a little. Yeah. And I can't even blame my shoulder, because it feels pretty good. I need some energy. I don't, I don't know. Oh, look at this guy. Good shot. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad shot. I mean, to punch up, though. You know, you got a lot of room. I mean, there. if you aim for that skinny tree, are you going to hit it? How many times are you going to hit it? <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. I didn't hear the claps from you guys when he hit three trees up there. Seven under, baby. Seven. Good round. Good round. Round one ended up okay. We could have done better, but uh, I'm six under, and that's almost on target. Number one, Vegas, Nevada. I was pressing up against the fan. One fellow's got double under. Oh, my God. Oh! American Idol is brought yes. to you by Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh! Good night. She's out. Oh, the only guy's in is the last one. Oh, here we go. Oh, here she goes. Here we go. Watch this. Boom. Oh, my God. She's legs just give out. Oh, nice legs. Only 97 remain. Only 97 remain. It's just like the cut. <laughs> it was two hours. All right, see queer eyes on. Oh. <laughs> 
25 make it out of 180. And right now I'm tied for about 35th, maybe. If you've ever fantasized about being a pro golfer, this is it. And this is your Masters. This is your U.S. Open. When we come to Pebble here, we, we try to entertain the crowds and have fun with them, but inside we really want to do well. It's real serious to us. You know what I mean? You're an, you're an 80th, one stroke away. You're minus six. We got to step it up yeah, tomorrow, yeah. man. Get the show on the road. Be going deep today. Don't try to get us 12, 10 or 12 today, baby. That's what I'm looking at. I can taste the cuts. I can taste it right here. It's a big day today. You gotta make a move. It's not gonna be easy. And Kevin's movie opens today. I know that's gotta be on his mind. I think we're at one, aren't we? Ten. We're ten. Are we at ten, Claude? Yep. Yeah, you're on ten. He did minus seven yesterday. He's got to average at least minus seven to have a shot, you know? But I don't know. I don't know with Raymond. I've seen him choke before. How are you? Yeah, everything's on camera, you know, <laughs> nowadays. Hey, you, uh, you're going to be the cleanup hitter. OK. By the way, uh, the strip club called. They have your shoe. <laughs> OK. All right. Yeah. All right. Doesn't make any sense, I know. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't like that. No, he didn't. <laughs> Wow, look at this guy. We gotta go see a load of this guy. Who's that? This is crazy. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Sir, I'm not gonna be able to swing with that shirt. I gotta tell you. How you doing? Nice to see you, man. Oh, you. yeah. Hey, uh, I loved you on Survivor. Really? <laughs> so, where's your cabin? How far away from you? <laughs> I'm sending this to the lab. <laughs> Game on! Come here, man. Get off. Look, we don't hug enough. Come on. Not in front of my pro. It's, it's like we're in battle together. I'm pulling for him. But if it's between the two of us, then I want me. When I succeed, you know, he's happy for me, which I can't say the same for him. When he succeeds, I want him tackled. Movie. I don't know. Hitch, we can see Hitch. I don't know. Ah, I hear that's lame. <laughs> they played Mooseport on the plane on the way out. Two people walked out. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's a good joke. Oh, shit. Can't hit it. What do you do? Driving down, but then you get over. You gotta come straight down the line like this. Oop. We have a connection already, Grady and I. Yeah, yeah, pull it all the way through. You, you getting down there, it's hitting down. And... I gotta be honest, I don't know what he's saying half the time, but what he's saying sounds like he knows what he's talking about. I'll never question you again. As long as we live together, brother. <laughs> Claude's my best friend. You know, it's a big thrill for him, and that's why I bring him. He's not a professional caddy. Ow. Yeah, five I'm not going here. I'm five going down nine. this way. No, I think like a seven iron. I'm only going down five the I'm going down the bottom of the hill. All right, whatever. But I, I don't need a pro caddy. I just need someone who can handle the basics. That's all. Where's my ball? Where's my ball? Killing me. 
going to make a call. See what's up with Hitch. No. Hey, Rob. What's up, buddy? Everything's looking great. I'm very, very happy. All right, good. Now, when do I call you next? Call me next is probably like 4 o'clock, because then I'll have evening grosses from the East Coast. All right, cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs> At the nine holes, it, it wasn't going too well. I just thought, you know, all right, time to keep your head in the game. Let's go. Well, was that Murray? <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Almost killed Greeny, man. Where's the green? It was. <laughs> Uh, Murray! Four, and I hate myself. That is bad, man. Raymond, if there's a time for you to swing, come on, just follow through. God damn it, just follow through. Come on, come on, come yeah. on. Pink. Yes. Yes. Uh, finally. Let me tell you something, Moose Point did seven million the first weekend. You tell that to them. I just spoke to Roy Brewer. He thinks you're gonna do thirty-six million dollars for the weekend. That's how good your numbers are right now. I gotta call my manager. I think I'm cutting a ribbon at a bed bath and beyond next week. <laughs> Everything you're gonna hear today is gonna be the same thing. You rule. I'm moving to Mexico. Go make a birdie. See you later. Thanks. All right. This is it right here. We gotta sink this baby. Hit it! I like it that way. I like it that way. Oh, I don't want to do anything. I just want to go right to the car. The round for me was uh, frustrating. I didn't play well. I parred three holes. So we're 13 under. And uh, Kevin rallied to go to 14 under. Well, that's where I like it. I want you to answer this with gut honesty. You wanted to be ahead of me by the end of the today. Yeah. My wife came back and regaled me for an hour about how great it was. Tonight, was like, Kevin and I are invited to Clint Eastwood's annual dinner party. It's great because it's really laid back. The food is phenomenal. And we get to find out where everybody stands so far in the tournament. 13, 14. 11. What are you? What are you at? 14. What about you? Oh, he, he's 14. I'm 13. How are you? It's really cool because Clint Eastwood is like the godfather of Pebble Beach. He's been playing here for like, I don't know, 30 years or something. How many times did, how many times did you make the cut? You made it a bunch of times? Three, yeah. We should roll. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go. Thanks again. Yeah. We'll see you uh, maybe Sunday. You're going to be at the course Sunday? Hopefully we're going to see you Sunday then. Hey, I have to call my kids. How did you do? I lost a lot of balls today. What did you use? Oh, I used, I ended up with the Homer Simpson ball. Well, I lost about four or five of them, though. Hey, guys, how'd you like Hitch? It wasn't as funny as I thought it would be. Oh! <laughs> 
if we can go seven under tomorrow, we might make the cut. I think you're gonna do it. You think I'm gonna make it? Yeah. I, I hope so. I love you guys. Bye bye. 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 All right. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> Beautiful weather. It looks like it's turning, right? Yeah, it's turning. It's good. I'm at the exact point where it's not going to be easy. It's it's very doable, but it's also not going to be easy. In our heads, we got to play this like it's our final round. There's no tomorrow if there's no today. I mean, whatever the saying is. Whatever, that's what I'm getting at. It's like you see the, the excitement of making a cut, and it's like when you don't make it, it's like everybody else gets to go on this great ride, and you got to just stand there and, and hold their hat. Over here, not over there, though. Hey, as long as you enjoy hitting the crap out of it, that's <laughs> fine, right? That's right. It's the big boy, how you doing? Uh, What's the ball a little longer, babe? Huh? What's the ball a little longer? You know, try to see the tee after you hit it. It's just a little, a split second. It's all you need, yeah. There you go. Let me see if I can help you out a little. What do you got? What do we got here? Mmm, not loving it. The projected cut is minus 20, so we're both within reach, but so are a lot of teams. What's up, buddy? See you out there, right? Okay. Yeah. Hi, right. right, man. Chris Berman. Nice yeah, to see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're in the hunt, right? Well, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We are late. You know how late we are? Thank you. Have a good day. Ah! Oh, shit. Come on, Kevin. No, not a good start. So, you know what? We're going all in this hole. Up there. Come on. Get, get. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Big one, right? I mean, in his mind, he's, you know, thinking he's going to make the cut. Since he had that birdie in the last hole, I think he's in a good state of mind. This was it. You're running out of room for error. Get going, go, 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 go! So the tone for Kevin and I... Good shot, Brian. ...got pretty intense. All right. Can I say one thing constructive without you getting mad? What's that? When he was in the bunker on the par five, you said, good shot. Listen, it's not a good shot for him. Listen, but remember how we feel listen, when, we, when somebody I'll, says that to us? I'll take it from here. Oh, all right, I won't worry about you. All right, good. OK, good. Well, I'm worried about myself. I'm trying to help you. I've gotten by for 39 years. Oh, I'll say, oh that's the philosophy. OK, all right, all right. Help me. Jeez, thank you, Ray. Fucking idiot. Fucking ass dick. Now I want to beat him. <laughs> All right. He's right, though. Don't worry about this. All right. I got this shot. I got it. 
when we hit minus 15, I thought, oh man, this thing is possible. At the rate caught a little fire. I knew I had to step it up. That's cold. That is so cold. I hate to give you credit, but that did sting a little, guys. So I'm going to crush this. At that point, we were 19 under, and I knew we had to make a move. I thought we had to pick up one with two holes left. Nice. Basically, we need one more, probably, to seal it. It's doable. I just need to not screw up the tee shot. pretty well on 17. I was a little short of the green. Ray was on the green, but he had like this really long putt. Is that okay? Let's drain this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fun. That's what it's all about right there. It's 50 feet away. And it looks like it's a miniature golf shot. You know, it's up the hill and down the hill and side bending. Yeah, right in here. Right in here. Doesn't have to quite die here, just a little bit of pace. Carry on down the All I got to do is two putt, and we get to 20 under. And I'm thinking, you got to get it over the hill at least. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's a tester, man. That's a tester right there. I was right on the fringe, looking at a straight uphill putt. Don't be short, Kevin. Don't be short. All I'm thinking is just knock it close, two putt, and go 20 under. Hit it. That's a big Oh, God. I didn't hit it. The second I hit it, I knew it was short. Damn it. Now I'm thinking, all right, you know what? You just gotta sink this five footer. It's unbelievable. Inside left or? Split the hole, really. Really? It's going to break? The, it's going to break, right? Yeah, just kind of inside the hole with the pace on the edge with, you know, a little less pace. You got it. And I said, OK, and I got over the ball. And I'm thinking, holy shit, 
We're gonna get to 20 under. Meant to be, guys. Wasn't meant to be. Fuck! Damn it. And that could cost them the tournament. Could cost them. If that stops them from getting in, that little putt, it's gonna be a long, long evening, you know? So now you took it for a miracle. I'm on 18, and my thought was still on that putt. And I thought, there's no way. I mean, how am I going to make a swing now? About the last second, I decided to just let it go, try to make a good shot here, just try to finish your swing and follow through. Nice ball, right? I was devastated at, at 17. I mean, I just couldn't let it go. Now I'm looking down 18, and I'm just thinking, you got to put a good swing on it. Oh, no. I pulled my tee shot. And I'm just praying. Just please make it over the water. You make it. Right in the ocean. That was it. I was done. Ah, uh, I just blew it. All right, Ray, you're in play, though. You're in play, Ray. I hit a good second shot, and, and all of a sudden, this new door opens up. And I'm thinking, I got one more chance. You're basically struggling for three days to get to this moment. And, and here I am, I'm 15 feet away, and all I gotta do is two putt. And I leave myself a putt exactly like the one I just missed on 17. I'm standing there and I'm thinking, this could be the best comeback for me, or, or as catastrophic as 17 was, Twice that. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I always want to beat Ray, and I know Ray wants to beat me, but at that moment, I wanted him to make that putt. Yes. Yes. Hey, Grady, thanks so much, bud. Oh, man, this is unbelievable. Great, great, great play with you. Congratulations, you. asshole. Let's do it, man. You never know. 19 could do it, No, too. no, no. Good job, man. Way to go. It's my buddy right here. Well, it's the man. man. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, I blew it. I choked. I'll give it away. You gotta give it away. You gotta give it away. Yeah. Where you go, man? Let's Good find out. Let's find out. Hey, how you doing? All right, man. Let's find out. Hi, buddy. How'd it work out? Not good. No. No. Why not? I choked. I didn't do good at the end. What's the cut? Huh? I don't know yet. I was, I was just What's the cut? Did you end up one? Great, thank you. Twenty. The other night. Now, Grady's Grady. You worked it, buddy. I I I I feel like I let you down, but. But uh, you'll do it. We'll do better next time. We're gonna do better next time. Yeah, I'm gonna be with you. Uh, you know you're gonna be with me. You will get my number, so you give me a call. Okay. All right. I don't know the last thing he said, but I'm gonna give him a call.
have fun playing tomorrow. Don't know yet. There's seven. There's seven people tied for three spots. Three people get in out of the seven tied. So oh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I got to find out who the other pros are. Ren, stop whining. By the way, Claude, there's people still playing. So if they we'll get to the computer, let's go check it go out. They go all the 21. We're out. teams that's there, so I gotta put the whammy on them. Hi, Ma. So I, bl I blew it today. Yeah. All right, love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, no. I'm watching Berman. Shit. Berman might go to 21. I'm gonna wait. I want to wait and find out. Are there any pros that are lower than him? Did they finish already? Oh, OK. It don't look good. That damn putt at 17. Hey, you're in. <laughs> Too much. Is that true? I Congratulations. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're in. You want me to kick Berman's ass? No, we just got to wait until it's final. Is, is final? That's right. You, you, It's hard making that cut, you know? It's just so tricky. Pebble Beach is like, you know, you don't make the cut. It's that feeling where you forget about things and things are good and you're having a good time and you go, oh, what's bothering me? Oh, that's right, I didn't make the cut of Pebble. It's weird because you don't want to count the days till next year because you don't want to wish your life away, you know? I mean, next year comes around pretty fast, but Right now, it seems a long way away. Ray got me this time. I mean, he still didn't make the cut, but he beat me. He did. The most exciting thing to do is to play at Pebble and make the cut. The second most exciting thing is to play at Pebble and not make the cut. You know, so it's all good. <laughs> I got to say. Between my shoulder, your back, your toe, and Claude's lips, we're in the worst shape we've ever been here. <laughs> Grady's the man. Grady is absolutely a super freak. All right. Appreciate it. Thank doing great. No children, please. I'm going to ask for a full ass exam just to throw him. <laughs> One drunken evening. Well, I need to find the, uh, the outhouse. Oh, damn it. 
my glove. Here we go now. Harvard. Do you feel like a movie star today? Ah, not really. You're a movie star. Yeah, but I'm still hungry. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.